Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested here at Comic-Con 2018. Had to stop by and see Frank Winsborough, previously of Mobius Models. But you're here still repping the company, showing some of the products. The Discovery, it's on sale now. Yes, we've had it out for a little while now. A great selling kit. The interest in 2001 just hasn't gone away. I've, I've purchased it, Adam's purchased it. We're gonna build it. It's gonna be a future one day build, don't worry. But to come back and see, it, it gives us inspiration and it gets it on our bucket list to do. Now, what's new from Mobius is something I never thought would come out as a kit, the EVA pod. Oh, we weren't too sure either, but it seemed like the next logical thing to get out. And uh, towards the end of the year, it'll be done. This is just the, the second prototype of it. It's ready to go into tooling now. A couple minor minor fixes and a scale big, like you said, it's it's much bigger than I think people will uh, realize from seen what the they've seen. I've the pre-orders online and the picture does not give you a sense of how big this is at eight scale because you realize the people feel, like the astronauts fill the cavity yes. of the pod, so it's gotta be big. <laughs> wow. Did, is this representative of the detail on the inside and on the exterior? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's got the, not oh, sure if you can see whoa. it enough, but the interior in it. There's That's really gonna so be so much to wow. it. Wow. So Such much to it. All the paneling and ripe for decals, ripe for painting, ripe for modification. Oh. So many opportunities, but lights inside, cellophane That's... panels. That's what I can't wait for, C1 lit. It's, yeah. it's gotta be really incredible what someone can do with that. It, it, it's a miniature, but it's almost a bigature at that point. <laughs> now, yes. Speaking of bigger models, there are not one, but two Discovery models on this shelf because the new company you work for, Kyoto, is releasing a Discovery also, this time, almost twice the length. Tell oh. me about the 110 scale. Well, they decided to do something more of a prop replica. Uh, Scale-wise, I'm still not sure exactly the one-tenth of the prop, but to get any bigger than this, oh, it just... It wouldn't fit the case. It, yeah, it's what would you do with it? It's big, it makes it makes the Mobius kit look like a toy in some ways. But yeah, the, the first version of this is going to come out, they wanted to do it as a fully 3D printed, photo etch, resin parts added, finished, high-end, $13,000. Wow. <laughs> And it will be available as a plastic kit next year. Okay. And they're looking at doing a finished plastic kit as well to keep mm. it for the guys that don't quite have that big budget. Mm -hmm. So uh, the kit should be somewhere around $400 and the finished about $1,500. So a little more reasonable. Now, at this scale, I, I, it's nice that you have both to compare. Because yes. this is manageable, but you're able to get a lot more detail. Do they have a shared lineage in terms of the digital reference and how much more detail can you get at this scale? Well, there is uh, a lot of shared lineage in it. Of course, we talked with them during the development. We shared our files with them. Mm. Uh, Adam Johnson, who did most of the work on ours, went back through, looked at what they had done to scale it up and added so much more detail to it. And really at, at the scale, oh, I mean, it's just incredible how much more detail could be added. And that's part of the reason for the cost. I mean, it really, I know you can't get it on film, but when you start to look at just some of the small details. Well, we're gonna try, because you uh, have a, a part here. And let's take a close look. That is it's wonderful. It's so much more when you really start to look. It just pops out at the scale. It's, wow. Um, so how much of this is creatively added by your team here or actually from the original shooting model in terms of the detail? Uh, you know, that I'm not really sure. I mean, Adam was such an expert on it that uh, he went through it, went through his reference, you know, what he had from the NASA archive. And there, like I said, there, yeah, there, there really is just so much more to this than people will realize until they hold it in their hands. It, it's just so incredible what they've done over there with it and of course you know the japanese are huge fans huge fans if you were film. to build this as a scratch built styrene model one mm. this shape is so tough but also i'm just imagining just tiny pieces of styrene that you'd have to glue just oh, tiny all pieces of this. all around just so much work so much it's work. real relief work that when you put it under interesting light you're gonna get how it looked like in the film yes and there's so much when you look further. Oh, down, oh, the engines, oh, wow. The engines, just the, the detail there, when you start to look to, just to, to build any of this, you start to look at the piping in here. It's, it's just an incredible amount of detail that shows up in it. 
That's uh, nuts. The 3D printing has gotten so far along that to well, do yeah, it. Well, yeah, the piping here. I mean, <laughs> underhangs, overhangs. Yes. You know, this looks like a model that you will use for film production. Uh, it, it really is. I mean, it's as close as I think anyone will ever get, really. Mm. Uh, you know, there was a, the, you know, it's 10 scale, so it'd be interesting to see what it really looked like, but I, I don't know where you could do more than this. I really yeah. don't. Now, for the Mobius model, there is a metal rod that goes all the way through. Is yes. that the same case? For the uh, one? It, it will be. Uh, this one just has a, a metal rod. You know, they've been looking at tubing. That's what we ended up with on the Mobius kit. The, the tubing had a little bit less flex to it. It was easier to assemble. This, with it being oh, wow. the steel rod, it fits. It fits very tight, and I, I think tubing will probably end up being the key for this as well. I thought we had reached the pinnacle of collectors <laughs> for 2001 fans, but. You're surprising us with your next move. Well, I, I kind of had to laugh earlier as I remember so many people came by and looked at this last year and said, I can't believe how big it is. And this year they come by and say, what happened? <laughs> Even bigger. Frank, never say no when a company wants to go ambitious because <laughs> the collectors and the fans are going to be grateful for exactly. it. Exactly. Thank you so much. Great to see you. At You're Comic welcome. Con. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you were watching it and thinking, boy, I wish Tested sold a t-shirt, your prayers are answered. I am wearing the first Tested t-shirt that proudly proclaims that one day builds always take longer than a day. Buy yours right now in the link below.